Yeah. It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here. You already know, I'm back. It's your boy, Sets BK1, Ninja Nation Gaming, bringing you another, another easy upgrade guide for the new zombies map, Ancient Evil. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to upgrade the fallen hand of Charum into the redeemed hand of Charum. Very fast, very easy. This is by far the easiest gauntlet upgrade out there. Again, I hope this guide helps you all out. You know the drill, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications for free cookies. Okay, so let's get into the video. Just like the last two videos, first thing you want to do is open up the amphitheater and activate the Sentinel artifact. Once you have that done, you want to start looking for dormant hands. You will find them laying around the map in these glowing pots, sort of like Dead of the Night crystals. Once you find it, pick it up. You can take these hands to any ritual of your choosing, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Fallen Hand of Charum and then upgrade it to the redeemed hand of Charon. So, since this altar's location is down by Pack-a-Punch, you're again first gonna have to make sure you picked up the Golden Bridle, which can be found in either the Stoa of the Athenians or the intersection of treasuries. When you pick this up, a boss will spawn in and you have to kill him. Once you kill him, he'll drop a shield part, but also, after you kill him, the Pegasus will be waiting for you by the Spartan Monument waiting to take you to the underworld. Now, once you get down there, go to the shrine located by the Python Pass and activate the ritual. Now stay in the glowing circle for 30 seconds while you defend yourself against oncoming zombies. Once the ritual is done, you can now pick up the Fallen Hand of Charum and start upgrading it right away. First, to start the upgrade, you want to go to the River of Sorrows and get a few zombie kills with the gauntlet. Once finished, you'll be prompted that you're being presented with a gift. Crouch down in the middle of the river and drink from the River of Sorrows. This will put you in sort of like a vision mode where you can see coins around that area. Now, some of these coins are fakes. If you hit the action button to interact with the coin and you hear a coin sound, you have a real one. Collect three real coins and sacrifice them to the shrine. Then a portal will open and you enter it. Then it'll take you to another area outside of the map to use the redeemed hand of Charon and get used to its special abilities. Once you have killed enough zombies with it, then you'll see another portal open up and you'll be automatically teleported back to the map wielding the redeemed hand of Charon. Now, go have fun killing zombies. This gauntlet upgrade uh, special abilities, in my opinion, is one of the weakest special abilities any gauntlet has, so be sure to leave this one for the noobs you're playing with. But hey, at least you know how to build it for them now, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, be sure to drop a like or Blundell will remaster transit. I'm set to be K1, and bye.